it's woven into the basic laws of physics. And we really all have to accept it as a fact of life. The idea of chaos really did have a big impact over a period of about 20 or 30 years because it, it changed the way everyone thought about what they were doing in science. It changed it to the point that they forgot that they'd ever believed otherwise. What chaos did was to show us that the possibilities inherent in the simple mathematics are much broader and much more general than you might imagine. And so a clockwork universe can nonetheless behave in the rich, complex way that we experience. The discovery of chaos was a real turning point in the history of science. As it tore down the Newtonian dream, scientists began to look more favorably at Turing and Belousov's work on spontaneous pattern formation. And perhaps more importantly, as they did so, they realized something truly astonishing that there was a very deep and unexpected link, a truly cosmic connection between nature's strange power to self-organize and the chaotic consequences of the butterfly effect. Between them, Turing, Belousov, May and Lorentz had all discovered different faces of just one really big idea. they discovered that the natural world could be deeply, profoundly unpredictable. But the very same things that make it unpredictable also allow it to create pattern and structure. Order and chaos. It seems the two are more deeply linked than we could have ever imagined. So how is this possible? What do phenomena as apparently different as the patterns in Belousov's chemicals and the weather have in common? First, though both systems behave in very complicated ways, they are both based on surprisingly simple mathematical rules. Secondly, these rules have a unique property a property that's often referred to as coupling, or feedback. To show you what I mean, to show you both order and chaos can emerge on their own from a simple system with feedback, I'm going to do what seems at first glance like a rather trivial experiment. This screen behind me is connected up to the camera that's filming me. But the camera, in turn, is filming me with the screen. This creates a loop with multiple copies of me appearing on the screen. This is a classic example of a feedback loop. We get a picture in a picture in a picture. At first, it seems fairly predictable. But as we zoom the camera in, some pretty strange things begin to happen. The first thing I notice is that the object I'm filming stops bearing much resemblance to what now appears on the screen. Small changes in the movement of the match become rapidly amplified as they loop round from the camera to the screen and back to the camera. So even though I can describe each step in the process mathematically, I still have no way of predicting how tiny changes in the flickering of the flame will end up in the final image. This is the butterfly effect in action. But now here comes the spooky bit. With just a slight tweak to the system, these strange and rather beautiful patterns begin to emerge. The same system, one that's based on simple rules with feedback, produces chaos and order. <laughs> 